and we want black to the inside. You only have two wires. You know, have two wires. So you want red on the outside, stick it through that hole, and tighten this down. Black on the inside. Stick it through that hole. Tighten it down. That's power now to Z1. This is going to be plugged back in. And this is the ground which is going to go to one of these three screws. Whichever one you want to put it to, it's okay. We'll take this as the ground cable. We'll put it to one of these. And then we'll put this one on top of it. So you're attaching two grounds? I'm attaching two grounds. One from the power cable and a system ground right here. Okay. And I'm going to take one nut and a lock washer out of that kit. I'm going to put the lock washer on. I'm going to put the nut on. put that on temporary for now but it will have to be tightened down. Okay, now we're going to take the data cable. Kind of do the same thing but this is going to this large connector. Room for two data cables, three wires each. You have a ground. Make sure they're nice and tight. Now on this one, on the power you had black on the inside. On the data, you have black on the outside. So we'll put black on the outside, tighten it down. The white one or clear one. Next over, and the bare one, in the center. And we'll plug that back in. Stop. Ready, all we're going to do is we need a small nut driver and we're just going to tighten down the grounds. Nice and tight. Stop. Alrighty, and uh, then we're going to clean this up a little bit. We have this size tie wrap. I like to put one on the inside to hold these wires up in there. So. We'll put one around the inside. Like so. Leave a little bit of this tab out so it hits on here and it holds those wires up in there. Then what we want to do is just uh, go along with this whole thing and tie these together to make it look neat and clean. And so on down the line until it's nice and neat. Stop. Okay, I just continue these tie wraps down and then at the end clip off the ends here. And uh, this process should uh, be done at every arm to make it look clean. We'll also have little uh, stick tabs 
that will stick to the wall in order to hold this nice and neat and clean looking. From here, we'll put this straight down over to here, probably run it up this corner right here, to make it look neat, and then over to the hole. Okay, the one thing you want to remember once all of these are on, make sure that these cables go through the hole on the junction box cover. Many times you'll get this done, cover's laying on the floor, now you got to disconnect everything to get it back through the hole again. So make sure the wires come through the junction box cover and then screw the junction box cover on. Okay, I'll do the, I'll do the, uh, you know, strip all these things. What you're done, all you do is this guy. Okay. There's enough wire there so I'm going to shove it all back in. Sounds good. So I'm going to do is dress it up and... Okay, fight. thanks. Okay, what we're doing now is just setting up the computer and uh, so what we're doing now is, is uh, setting up the computer. The computer, the monitor, and the CPU are in boxes. So you have to take them out of the boxes and put them, put them together. Meaning the, this base plate is off. You just need to slide it in, lock it in to the monitor. And it's done by this is usually off like this. All you need to do is see it in, lock it in, and you have your monitor. Okay, got it. Then what you need to do is get the computer, and we just need to start plugging in the mouse, the keyboard, um, and the mouse, the keyboard, and the monitor, and the power cords. And we just need to do that by the way the, uh, what the CPU says. So the monitor needs to go to the monitor port, which is blue, and it's happily blue on the back. So what we're going to do is just plug it in, and make sure it's seated in. So it's seated in tightly. And what we're going to do then is, it does not matter, uh, keyboard or, or mouse, doesn't matter, into the serial ports on there, into their uh, SUSB ports. There's one, and then the mouse. Same thing, USB port, just plug it in. Doesn't matter which one. As far as that, that is setting the computer up. That's what needs to be done. What we're going to do is take the PC and hook it up to the laser power supply control box. And what needs to happen is that you need two serial cables. It comes in, packaging. What you need to do is label one with number ones on it, some kind of marking on both ends. Show it if you if you would. Okay. There's number one on there, on both ends, both sides. And then what we need to do is just hook them up to COM core one. So this is one is to one. COM core one is the one next to the monitor. So all you do is Really put that in there and screw them in. And then you can take the other end, it goes to the power supply. And on the power supply, it's labeled COM1 and COM2. Make sure 1 to 1 and 2 to 2. Number two, the COM port is on the side, on the, back, on the back end of the bottom. So it's the same thing, just put it on, secure it. The 
take the other end, put it on the control button. wires that we have here are the uh, pendant wire, ground wire, data wire, and another power from the lasers in the CT room. What we did was that we ran, uh, there's wire, we ran wire from this, the ceiling junction box to the, to the control room here. So we ran wire from ceiling laser to here that's going to be hooked up to the power supply. So the four wires that we have need to be hooked up to the power supply. Go. Uh, right now we're just going to strip all the wires so that we can hook them up to the controller box, uh, just like we did previously on the other uh, Z1 on them. Now we're going to take the wires that we've stripped from the ceiling laser to here to the control room, and we're going to pump, uh, secure them in the or connect them into the control box. So what needs to be done is that there's six. Six screws, three on each side, that need to be taken off. You need an Allen wrench to do that. An Allen wrench to do that. And I already had them loose, but you need an Allen wrench to do that. Taking all these off. And then you're going to have the control box. The cover's just going to come off. Set that aside. What we're going to do is have the wires. What I'm taking off is some grommets that hold the wires to, in place. Um, right now, we just need to run the wires into the control box. Always taking the ground wire and mounting it to that post, the ground post. Okay. And I'm just using one of the three holes. I like to use this hole. And I'm just securing it to the ground post. So now what I'm taking is the power wire. Doing the same thing. Taking the wire and trying to run it, run it through the holes the power supply and then I'm mounting there's a ground I'm mounting the red connector which is the ground for the power to the ground post uh, a tool that you also will need is a little screwdriver for the for the terminals what needs to be done is these terminals that are here need to be hooked up with these wires. So what needs to be done is that these need to be uh, loosened or untightened. So we just loosen them. And what we're going to do is more or less what it is. Red wire with red wire. Black wire with black wire. So to do that, to do that, taking the red wire, Putting on the red terminal straight across from it. Putting it in there and then tightening it. Tightening the screw. And then so it's secure. Pulling on the wire to make sure it's secure. And then doing the same thing with the black. Black into the terminal. Take the screw and tighten it. pull out so it's uh, so it's secure. So now the only last thing we're doing with this is the data wire. Same thing, data wire coming out. More or less just getting it ready for me to put in the terminals, putting it in through the connector hole, feed through hole, and then matching them up. Black to black is clear to white and the gold.